the Prime Minister now should be long gone. Yeah, yeah. Madam Deputy Speaker, I'll certainly vote for this motion, but really, the Prime Minister should just know the gig's well up. Well, here we have it, ladies and gentlemen, we have a big, big day in Westminster in Parliament. Um, obviously, at the time of me recording this video is about 3 p.m. Uh, just after 4 p.m., we're going to have the actual vote against Boris Johnson. Uh, they're going to be sending him to uh, the Privileges Committee, uh, chaired by a Labour MP, Chris Bryan. But essentially, if that goes wrong, the Prime Minister could even be suspended from Parliament, let alone you know asking him to resign. That's a whole different uh, issue anyway. But Steve Baker has now joined the, the top Tory ranking uh, side of uh, the Parliamentary Party uh, alongside Mark Harper yesterday, who stood up and called for Boris Johnson's resignation. We were waiting for Steve Baker because we were wondering. Inter interesting that Mark Harper and many others have now joined to send in the let letters of no confidence. Uh, Baker was pretty quiet yesterday, so a lot of people were thinking maybe it's just a bubble. Maybe it's not going to happen. If, if Baker is not joining, then maybe it's not real. Well, things have changed. And I'm afraid I'm now in a position where I have to acknowledge that if the Prime Minister occupied any other office of senior responsibility, if he was a Secretary of State, if he was a Minister of State, a Parliamentary Under Secretary, a Permanent Secretary, a Director General, if he was a Chief Executive of a private company or a Board Director, he would be long gone. Well, the interesting thing about Steve Baker uh, calling for Boris's resignation is that he's, he's going to explain the next bit, which I'm going to show you. Uh, he was also behind uh, the move against Theresa May. And uh, the moment he pulled the trigger, essentially, uh, it brought down the whole of the dominoes. And in, the problem for Boris Johnson is that right now he's not even in the country. He's in India. A uh, similar th uh, problem that um, Margaret, uh, Margaret Thatcher had in the 1990 when uh, the move against state in Parliament was happening and she was actually in Europe. Um, but the next move is about if the rest of the Tory parliamentary party are going to be bringing down Boris Johnson because of party gate or because of leadership. The reason that he is not long gone is because removing a sitting prime minister is an extremely grave matter. And goodness knows people will know I've had something to do with that too. It's an extremely grave matter, an extremely big decision, and it tends to untether history. And all of us, all of us should approach such things with reverence and awe and an awareness of the difficulty of doing it and the potential consequences and that. Now, this is why this changes everything. Now, we are going to come back uh, just after 4 p.m. when we have the vote in Parliament. We're going to give you the live reaction, uh, me alongside Peter Barnes, the political editor of the channel. But... Steve Baker was thinking about this for a few days and he's going to say in the next, the final bit of this uh, speech that he, he considered forgiveness because if the priorities in the country uh, are, should be the focus, then it's fine. But if Partygate is forgiven but there's no leadership, then that's a bit of a problem for the country. But I have to say now, the possibility of that really, for me, has gone. I have to say I'm sorry that for not obeying the letter and the spirit, and I think we have heard that the Prime Minister did know what the letter was, the Prime Minister now should be long gone. Yeah, yeah. Madam Deputy Speaker, I'll certainly vote for this motion, but really, the Prime Minister should just know the gig's well up. The gig is up, according to uh, Steve Baker. This could be the beginning of the end for the Prime Minister, um, and as opposed to what we were dealing with over the last two, three months, uh, when it was just the Labour side pushing for him to go uh, this Privilege Committee, as I said, is, is also biased, of course. It's uh, chaired by Chris Bryant. Um, so on the one hand, we want proper leadership, we want proper conservatism, and Boris Johnson has not been the best. But on the other hand, if we're going to bring down Boris, let's make sure we don't really give the power to the other side because they've been tweeting about all this all day, the Labour side and the Ramona side, Andrew Donis, Chris Bryant, and all these other guys saying we are doing this quite openly, saying because we want to... The Brexit, and I, I'm, I'm not really sure. Just say rejoin. That's what you're trying to do. Uh, but they want to basically completely reverse um, the uh, referendum result and many other things. So it's a very tricky situation for a lot of MPs, let alone for um, allies of Boris Johnson, Steve Baker, or former allies of Boris Johnson, uh, Steve Baker. So it, it's going to be a match, interesting um, day, but also just the rest of the week uh, tomorrow as well. But we're going to come back with more reaction. Subscribe to the channel. Amaya TC and we are the media.